yo people what's going on welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the mag talk we're back we're live and we're here man international break nonsense is over premier league is back and yeah man big steve man how are you mate um how's the international break you didn't see jordan ellison so he stayed in the stadium you know what i mean you got to see kobe minor masterclass that's what you seen but yeah man how are you mate yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm just glad the proper football's back now. Like I say, that England shit drives drives me mad, so I can't be doing dealing with it anymore. Nah, hundred percent, man. You know what it is, yeah. It's the fact that it's friendlies, isn't it? You know, I mean, nobody really cares. Everybody's going off with flipping hamstrings and all of this and that, and it's just one of them, man. You can't beat Premier League football. Club football is where it's at. England, when it gets to the Euros and it gets to the World Cups, will give a toss. But for now. Club football, man, the crunch end to the season. This is like, well, this is for you. Like, this is this is like the sharks are out in it. They, this, this is the hunting time now. This is the time when everyone starts to say, right, are we going to sink or swim? You know, I'm mean, Arsenal. Are you going to sink or swim? Man City, are they going to win four in a row? Is Liverpool going to win their twentieth title, man? We're here to talk about it all, man. So please hit the like button, people. That'll be great. That'll help the channel massively. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to Big Steve. And yeah, man, it's all... The talking point is that game, man. I know you've done about a thousand previews and I know you've talked about it. I think you've had enough of this game already. You know what I mean? It's not even started yet. But yeah, I've been with it already. <laughs> um, yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Like you say, it's... Uh... It's good yeah. business end of the season, three three teams going for the title. Um it's good, it's good, it's good, gonna be a good game, like you say. Um they came last year giving it all the talk, didn't walk the walk. Um yeah. they're giving it the talk again. Um let's see if they can do it. Like I say, they're the form team, no excuses. They got the midfield man they wanted, Declan Rice. They've got um yeah. the squad they want now, the the hitting teams for four fives. Um this is their time. You know, City ain't playing well. We we got a few injuries after the weekend and that. But listen, they got to come to the Etihad and do it. It's all right talking it. You got to go and do it, man. Yeah. You got to go and do it, man. You know what I'm saying to you? I know you did stuff with, um, with Robbie and that in uh, at the ground and that. I'm sure there wasn't no Avengers and that. You know what I mean? Africa. You know what I mean? This and that. That content will come out, but yo, man. I feel like Arsenal fans have learned their lesson, though. Like, I've not seen the Cecil shirt. I've not seen any madness is going on. I feel like it's one of them where they know it means more this time and they know it's like, you've got to be serious now. You can't be messing around anymore. And and like I said, they can't come and, and, and bottle it, man. They've got to get something from this game. Arsenal can't come home empty-handed. That's what I'd say for me personally. Looking at it from an outsider's point of view, Arsenal can't come empty-handed. You've got to get a point at least. You know what I mean? The way City are playing, Against the top six, they've only beaten Man United, really. And that's not really saying a lot, to be honest with you, because we've been shit. But, you know, only you got the draw at home to Tottenham. Draw against Chelsea. At Liverpool draw. Been a lot of draws, you know. So, yeah. it's it's one of them. It's one of them, man. You get me? Like, I feel like with me, do you feel like you've got to set this, this the precedent? Do you feel like you've got a win like is it a must win for you lot or is it one of them where they just need to come out and if they get a draw it's not bad for them at all i think they need i think they want to win they, they need to win if they win i think everybody sits, sits up and thinks you know what this might be their year i think if city beat them i think everyone's going to say oh they, they look at them now they've crumbled again so i don't think this game yeah. decides the title i don't think it does i think there's going to be a lot more twists and turns to come i feel like yeah. the games against the lesser sides where the, your players go in it thinking they're going to blow them away, end up a couple of goals down, chasing the game. Um, that could happen. Um, I just think we've got to control the game at the Etihad. You know, the record we've got at the Etihad is unreal. Uh, it's a bit of a fortress now. They've got to come there and um, yeah. and win. If you want to win the title, you've got to go and do the big games. Last season, they were ahead and everyone said, you've got to come to the Emirates, wait till you come to the Emirates. We went to the Emirates and wiped the floor with them. Then they said, oh, we'll, we'll beat you in the next one when we come to the Etihad. We wiped the floor with them again. So when it mattered, we dealt with them. So they've got to come and do it. They've got a chance to put a, a big sword through us and, and go and go four points clear by beating us. And we've got a chance of um, jumping right back into the mix if, if we beat them. So um, 
I think it's going to be a great game. I'm looking forward to it. I just, you know, I just can't wait for it now. Mm -hmm. Big up Alpha. He says, um, bro, I got PTSD last season from uh, last season, the way you got treated like a dirty. Man, got a, a can't even understand that. Oh, bro, what's that word? What's that word there? What's that word there? You know, be careful with these super chats, man. But basically, saying big up to you, man. And you're just trying to say you got PTSD for the way you lot got beat last season and the way Harlan got his head out. Because that word there, I don't know. That, I'm not going to say that word, but listen, big up to you for the super chat in there, man. I got to watch out for these super chats, you know, because you know what? The man are catching me out, man, lately, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Well, big up to Alpha, you know what I'm saying to you. But last season, they didn't have Saliba, though, man. And that was a big issue. They had, what, did he have Holden at the back or something like that? So, and then Harlan got his hair out, didn't he? You know what I mean? They started dancing around and that. So, I thought that was a bit of a, a, of a sticky one. But the way they got done over that game, man, City were all over them, man. And you know what's mad about that game as well, uh, Steve? That day, the atmosphere was big, man. I think Arsenal just weren't prepared, man. They weren't prepared yeah, it's at all. It's going to be the same again. It's going to be the same again on uh, Sunday. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to get it rocking. Yeah. We're going to get it rocking again. Uh, get straight into him, yeah. We got this. This is what we. This is what we're about, man. The last ten games is when Man City come to life. You don't win five out of the last six titles by disappearing when the going gets tough. So the going's getting tough. So we'll be there Sunday. Make sure they're there. You know they do a lot of talking, and then they just disappear. You know what I mean? Where's he gone here now? You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. But yeah, yeah, they've got to turn yeah. up. Arsenal, they've got to turn up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they have to, man. They have to. You know what I mean? Like Arsenal, you can't be doing this. You know what I mean? Softy, softy nature, man. You might. Have you know, got yeah, I listened to this, right? I looked. Some yeah. guy messaged me the other day, and uh, yeah, he said, uh, you're fucking shit. Uh, Arsenal's going to take the league. He said you're fucking shit. Arsenal's going to take the league title. Da, 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 da. So I looked at the message. The last time he messaged me was over a year ago when Arsenal was nine points clear saying the same thing. So it took him over a year to find his bollocks and reappear again wow. in my DMs. This is what you're dealing with, man. You know, at least I'm here week <laughs> in, week out, consistent, you know, giving it the big un. I wish I could just turn my computer off and hide for a year and then come back when, when my team was doing well. You know what I mean? <laughs> Aye, it's crazy, man. Yo, Traps, big up Traps, man. I said, don't listen to him, Side. He told me 20 minutes ago he's scared. Listen, man, show the evidence, man. Show the evidence, man. And we'll, I've got, we'll more, evidence, I've got more evidence on Traps than than, than uh, Adam McCall has got on OJ Simpson, Man City's charges. So, uh, <laughs> fucking, uh, be careful, Traps. Aye, it's crazy, man. It's crazy, man. What's the injury list? Someone was asking about the injuries and that. I don't know. There's a bit of a misconception about injuries. Kyle Walker definitely will be back. You know what I mean? I don't think he's, he's not fit enough. You know what I mean? What not? Stones is the key one for me. Is Stones fit or is he injured? I don't, I'll wait for the press conference and stuff. I've not seen anything, so I don't I don't know. Um, I reckon uh, it didn't look good the way he turned a bit. It pulled, but there's a lot of mind games going on, isn't there? You know what I mean? I think uh, a lot of players will be back. I just think that international break uh, just come at the wrong time for both hey. teams. So, you know Both I mean? teams, man, 100%. 100%. Yeah, Akanji got a knock, Stones of Ali out, Walker is fine, apparently. There was some news apparently coming out last night saying there's a couple of issues and whatnot, but it is what it is, man. Like I said, KDB is fit. Grealish apparently is back fit, apparently I'm hearing. Grealish you know is what I'm fit. saying? So, KDB is fit. Yeah, Grealish. Gre Grealish is the one for me that I think could be the game changer in this game, man. He could be the one that I feel like, listen, a lot of people slander Grealish, but it's not the same with Doku, man. You then have it to realise that, you know what, you've got to beat a man all the time, whereas Grealish, off the ball, on the ball, he's effective, innit? He recycles possession, he keeps things ticking, he, look he a bit more play better. Balance. You we know what I'm saying? Look a lot more balanced with him. We look a lot more balanced with Jack in the team. Uh said yeah. it before, Jeremy's a bit wild, but... Um, yeah, we're looking all right. We've just got to do... we just got to get there and do it. You know, no, no, nobody at City's worried. We ain't worried about it. It's Arsenal. We're not worried about it. We're used to it now. So, you know, bring it on. Mm. If they come and they've got to come and show it. You've got. To, if you want to take anything from Man City, you've got to turn up. If you want to take this title away from the Etihad, you've got to turn up. Yeah, it's all right talking. I hear enough talking all year round. So I'm. An, I've had enough of talking. I said that to Robbie yesterday. If you come in, let's have it. 
um, but we're having it here on the Sunday. We're having it. If you win, then you'll get my respect. If you don't, it'd just be another fucking huff and puff from Arsenal. You know what I mean? You know what it is? Is it, is it that? Is it that though, Steve? Yeah, that you feel like Arsenal fans they talk a lot, yeah, but then obviously the team don't back it up in it. It's one of them, like they project that kind of mad hype, yeah, that mad energy, and then later on it's just like a, it's like a flat balloon, you know. It goes, it just, you know what I mean? Like the, the, the no, what they do is they get beat, and then they say, yeah, yeah well, we knew we weren't going to win the league anyway. We didn't have the players, and then they come out with all this bullshit. But then three days before, they're telling everyone who's willing to listen how they got the best player in the world. The best this in the world, the best young kid in the world. They've got the best drinks in the world, prime. They've got the best pitch, the, the best <laughs> mascot. You know what I mean? But they ain't got no 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 league title. So who cares about that mm. shit? You know what I mean? If you're coming for the title, come do it, man. Hundred percent, man. Hundred percent. This is it now, man. Arteta as well. You can't be the little man anymore, man. You can't be the apprentice. You got to make sure. You know what I mean. You're ready to take over, man. Because man can't little bro you every time. You know, Guardiola can't come in there and be like, "Yo, that's my little bro, that man. He'll win it one day." You know what I mean? You know the ones there. Arteta is a wonderful coach. I bet you that's will be the mind games. I bet you this tomorrow, yeah. Guardiola says, yeah. There shouldn't be an issue if if Arteta doesn't win this league. They're on the right path. They're on this. They're on that. Nah, man. Don't do that mind games. Arteta, this guy's trying to play you. You get me? So you best say, let's fucking go, guys. Let's fucking go, guys. You know what I'm saying? Like he does normally. So they've got a CZ initiative. This is a massive game. Obviously, like I said to you, don't get beat mad score. Like they get beat like 3-0. And it's like one of them where, wow, mentally after this game, they can't recover. But if they go in and get a, a draw, which I think will happen, by the way, I think it'll be a draw this game, then I think that's a fair result. You know what I mean? It depends on what Liverpool do in the league. Obviously, if they win, I think they might be top. But, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you get me like, Arsenal, they've got a season initiative, 100%. They have got a season initiative um, this season. Um, so, yeah. Tactically, though, where do you see the battles on the pitch? Midfield. I think it's a midfield for me. Got yeah, well, last, because... last season, um, we just uh, yeah. Edison just over over the press into Haaland's feet. He was laying it off. Yeah, Brian was attacking and destroyed him. Um, I don't think we're going to do that this year. I think I think Haaland's going to just get into a wrestling match with Gabriel and Saliba, try and keep that back four yeah. back, and just keep that keep that uh, gap in the midfield open for Kevin De Bruyne, Bernardo, and Foden to get in yeah. there and cause damage. We don't want that back four pressing high and keeping Haaland in that midfield messing about. He's no point in him being in there. He needs to be running and ragged for me. I, I won't even care if I, if Haaland didn't have a touch uh, and we won because I just, hey. like, just, I just go out there, say, bang into him, pull him on the floor, wrestle him about, make sure they know they've got a game, keep their mind off the, off, 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 occupied off the midfield and let us run right in there. You know what I mean? Don't let Odegaard on the ball um, yeah. and try and dictate it, dictate the play. Yeah, yeah, Saka. I think your Saka will play. Uh, will be playing. Okay, there was a situation where Gavardio. Would you play Gavardio in this game? But at centre back as well, if they're not available, he won't, he won't play him at centre back. No, nah, that's what I was going to say, man. Play Ake, play Ake Ake at back and put uh, and Guardiola left back. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You know, what I mean, Nathan Aki at centre back, and then yeah, man. You know, what I mean, they obviously it depends who they play up front. I don't know if they're going to go with Jesus or they're going to go with Havertz. You know what I mean? It's one of them. If Jesus, it's mad here. Jesus and Sinchenko are on the bench two years after being sold by Manchester City to Arsenal. You know, you know how that would be poetic. You know how mad that would be here. And then Guardiola's on the corner thinking, smiling, thinking, I told you you lot weren't great. I told you you lot were going to be bench. You know what he's doing, man. You know, you know what I mean? It's doing. mad, you know, when you think about it. They needed them at the time, but they don't trust Sinchenko to play left back in that system. Uh, he's probably better in midfield. And, and Jesus, his 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 mentality is he's wrong. You know that's why he never made it as the number one at Man City. Sergio Aguero left, and we didn't have a striker for two years, and he never forced himself in the team. When he wasn't scoring goals, he wanted yeah. to play on the wing. When he's scoring goals, he he told everyone he was a striker. You know that's just the mentality of the guy. And now he's come to Arsenal. He don't know what he wants to do. He's saying he's not a goal scorer now and all that. So, you know, it is what it is um, with them two. The, that water has gone under the bridge. They did all right for City, but we move on and, and um, they're finding out now. You know, remember when you've dropped a bollock, Pep's sold us to two best players. You, you're going to regret that and all that. Well, I'm, I'm not, not being funny, mate. We won five trophies and there's nobody regretting it. 
You know what I mean? Them two are sat on the bench with splinters in their ass, and uh, their replacements yeah. are being five trophies around the pitch. So I think we know we made the right the right decision there. No, hundred percent, hundred percent. Listen, you know what I mean. Regardless, in it, the one thing about Pep Guardiola here yeah, is that. Everyone that he lets go, he never regrets it. and Or, or he doesn't make it look like he never regrets it. Because at the end of the day, they win trophies. You know what I mean? That's the beauty of Pep. He's done it before in the past. How many players have left? You know what I mean? Pep Guardiola. He told us this season. You've won a treble. Oh, sorry. You've won five trophies. You're definitely having a drop-off. You've got rid of Ilkay Gundogan, Mahrez and Laporte. There's no way, right, that you can, yeah. can do that again, right? But one point off the top. We're in the FA Cup semi-final. We're in the Champions League quarter-final. Yep. So, fair play to Pep because he's kept it going. He's kept the momentum going. Momentum's the hardest yep. thing. You look at Liverpool, they're saying that they've been told to toe with Man City. They haven't been told to toe with Man City. Liverpool's had a couple of seasons out of it where they've been in Europa League and, and all that. Man City haven't. They've been relentless and they've been replacing players, recycling players, moving players in, moving players out. Never let the standard drop. You know what I mean? So... Mm -hmm. We're going to try our best and see what we can do again. But, um, you know, we'll see. Time will tell. Mm, yeah, 100%. Listen, the Maris one was a difficult one. I think Kova, Nunes for Gundo. That, the Gundo one, I don't know. Was it a contract issues or was it just one of them where he, he didn't want to leave? Because it was going to his, come to his, it was going to come to an end soon because he was old. But I think City didn't re wasn't really showing him, you know, that they really wanted him. And then maybe he was going to maybe sit on the bench. So he just, he went to Barcelona. I think he loved the lifestyle. And he's playing every week out of there. But then that Sam Lee, did a, podcast. Sam Lee did a podcast saying that he wanted to come back. So. Oh, is he? Yeah, that's what I've seen. Ah, I've never listened to it. I've just seen it on, on, on someone's thing that he, he, apparently he'd come back. But it is what it is. But City are good at that. You let players go. When they let Aguero go, everyone was mad. You shouldn't have let him go. Give him one more year. David Silva, why are you letting him go? Give him a year. Yeah. Company, why are you letting mm. him go? Give him a year. Yeah, yeah, what are you letting him go for? Give him another year. But all of them proved to be the right time. And um, so one thing you can't argue with City is when they decide to cut a player off, even though us fans, we think they're legends and they want one more year, I think if you give them one more year, you're dropping the quality in your side because Pep sees yeah. them every day. He will know if them players are declining, you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent, man. I feel like that's the, the the key thing in all of this, man. You know, I mean, when when you see players decline, it's like when Fergie back in the day. You know, what I mean, Paul Ince, uh, yeah. Mark Hughes. You know, what I mean, you got to let them go. You know, what I'm saying, and he knew at the end of the day, like he wanted to replenish it. You know, what I'm saying to you, yeah, yeah, Stam. We're not letting Johnny Evans back, and that. we ain't going to get Pablo's back. You know what I mean? <laughs> We're just leaving that one out there. You know Jordan I mean? Evans is already Phil Jones. Is is already. Phil Listen. Jones next summer, right? Phil Jones coming back next summer. Right? Jones, he's, nah, he's a manager. He's a manager of the under 18s Yeah, we're top of the league, mate. So put some respect. Yeah, you, you know why he's a manager of the under 18s Because he's probably on a, on a player contract in case you need him. Because you're that shit. <laughs> nah, listen. You know, he like Tom Huddleston. I'm expecting. I was expecting Tom Huddleston to get in your midfield. Yeah, that 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 one's a bit wild. I don't know why Tom Huddleston's there, you know, because apparently he actually plays as well. well. Like, it's not even. Crazy, it's in crazy. Twenty ones, you're allowed a, a you're allowed a, an, an overage player. So Liverpool yeah, got yeah, Jay yeah. Spearing playing. Liverpool got Jay Spearing playing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Aye, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. Might get company back. Yeah, and when he gets sacked at Burnley, mate, you know what I'm saying? He's gone, mate. I think they won't sack him. You know, I think they'll keep him. You know, because yeah, I feel like they'll realize. Nah, he won't get sacked. I think they'll keep him, get back in the Premier League, but better though. They have got to get better though, man. They can't just rush seen back. Him on the train, man. Seen him on the train on yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, I seen him. How was it? How was it, man? He, he, I, I can't lie. He was fine. I spoke to him briefly, and he, he sat there, but he, he just looked stressed to me. But that just might be. He might have just been like having a nice break. He had all his family with him and his kids and that. Cole Palmer's mum and dad had got on the train as well, and um, he was okay. talking to them, and then he was just sat chilling. So. Um, I think when you're a manager, you can't switch off in it. So he's probably uh, his head was probably fucking doing overtime. You know what I mean? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Guys, make sure you lot are liking the video, man. Let's get them likes up, man. Helps the channel out massively. If you could do that, that'll be amazing. You know what? The key battle for me is the Rice and Rodri battle, man. I think the Rod Rodri not lost a game in what sixty games is it or something like that? That is, you know, that record is crazy. Like no Rodri After the four I games he hasn't played. played the four games he hasn't played, we've lost. I know. All four? Yeah. 
That is mad, you know. I've never seen, listen, people say, you know, my Man City are Mr. De Bruyne. Man City are Mr. This. But you know what? It's always the guys that you kind of need it's more so than the team. team. It's so important for the team coming deep, getting the ball, dropping in, making yeah. space, pinging the ball off, left starting the attacks. People don't see it. That That's why when, when Calvin Phillips was trying to get in, he just can't do it. I mean, Kovacic, to be fair, has been doing a similar yeah. sort of job. He's been learning. You can see Kovacic is intelligent enough to probably get that role one day, but he's just not got the legs. Yeah. But 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 Rodri is just a beast of a man. You know what I mean? He's been doing it solid for the last few years. You know, the game, think of the games he's played. Think of the trophies he's won. Think of every game he's, he's there and the shift he's putting in, the energy he's putting in around the pitch and that. And he's, he's there week in, week out, ready to go. And uh, he scored two penalties the other night for Spain. Yeah, yeah, he did, he did, he did. Yo, big up to Jams, man. Man gifted 20 memberships, you know. Yo, listen, W's in the chat for Jams R, man. Right, man's, um, man's helping us out, man. Big up to Jams, man. You know what I'm saying to you? Big up, man. Anyone who becomes a member, big up to you. You know what's mad, yeah? He's actually important for Spain. I know what's mad as well. He actually plays a more forward role for Spain, you know what I mean, than he does for Man City, well, which is crazy. He's played centre-back for Spain in the, in the last tournament he was in. He played centre-back, so he's... He's, he's versatile, you know what I mean? He's, he versatile, is versatile, yeah. but it's just, yeah. um, it's just, we just got a, I just feel that this season we've not, we've not, I feel like we've got a couple of gears left in us, me. I don't think we've just yeah. gelled. I think De Bruyne being out for six months didn't help. Then Haaland was out for two months. Grealish has been stop start. I think Stoles has had a couple of niggles. I just think that when we get everyone settled and we play that balanced team, it, Grealish on the left, Bernardo on the right, uh, De Bruyne, Foden, Rodri, Haaland, mm. back four of centre-backs for me, Ake, Diaz, Stones, Akanja, Edison. That's the team that won the treble. That's the team for me where I think, mm. you know, that, that can go on and win these games now and, and, and take the title. Yeah, 100%, man, 100%. Um, big up to everyone locked in. Let's get predictions on this one. I know I'm going to go for 2-2. Two, two. I'm going to go for 2-2 two, two on this one. I think it's going to be a draw, and I think it's going to be an entertaining draw as well. I think it's going to be a madness. Are you giving your prediction or are you going to save it? Are you no, no, so say every, it? Every, every, every show I've been on, I've given me a prediction. I think uh, Man City will win 3-1. I think it'll be 2-1 till late, and then Arsenal have to try and get some it, and we catch them out, and it'll be 3-1. Yeah. Guys in the chat, let us know what you're thinking. 2-1 Man City, 2-1 Gunners. 4-1 City, that is a great result for Liverpool. It's saying there, 3-2 Arsenal, 3-1 uh, City, 2-2. Two, two. Um, what else are you not saying? 2-1, 3-2, 3-2. Um, three, 3-2 two, three, two. Ah, three City. Listen, it's going to be crazy, man. If City win that game, yeah, I just think they're going to fly. Like I mean fly because it's momentum shift in performance and win. If they win that game, 3-1, the top of the league, I don't think anyone's stopping them, man. You know what I'm saying? you got got Tottenham and that. I know it's difficult, but you just have that momentum for me, man. So, yeah, man, big up to on that one. Uh, listen, we're going to talk on Kobe Mino, Steve. You were there um, on the, in the game against England. What did you think um, to sort of overall his performance? I know you've seen it before anyway, but watching him live... What did you think about him? Because these Liverpool fans are rattled, by the way. I've never seen... Have you seen Liverpool fans, by the way, lately on Twitter? Mate, they're crying because Kobe Mino starting ahead of Elliot and Jones. I'm like, why are you crying? It's crazy. Hey, I've seen I've seen, on, uh, I've seen somebody on um, Summit comparing him to fucking Cleverly. Mainu to Cleverly, saying... Uh, He's just an overrated Tom Cleverley and that. And this is what happened with Cleverley because he played for United. He ended up in the England squad and then he's fucking crap and all that. I was just like, you can tell the kids uh, got it. You just can't burn him out early doors. Let him. He's had his taste of England now. Um, I don't know personally what I take him. Is it too soon to take him to the tournament? The Euros? Maybe. Yeah. Don't know. But you look at the current, great, man. Yeah, the looking at the current, Gallagher. You want to watch Gallagher? Do you want to watch Gallagher Henderson? No, but yeah, listen, I, I get it. And if we had a if we had a really exciting uh, manager who was on the front foot and wanting to attack and let's go, yep. then I'd say bring him and I'd say bring all the young boys and let's have it. But we haven't got that manager. Jordan ended nope. that the other night against Belgium. That is not a good Belgium side. 
Romelu Lukaku was doing outside of the boot fucking passes in the box and that, mate. I just thought, what the fuck's going down here? And it's just, okay. it just you know, second half late on when they got folded on the ball in the middle with Bellingham, we looked good. But we've got yeah. we've got the players to do it, Hello, man. Mate. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I can't. Southgate's just... Uh, they, put it this way, I'm, I'm sat in Wembley watching England Brazil, and I've got my phone out, and I'm watching a boxing on my phone. That's that's how that's how good that. No game. way, no yeah. way. I watched that the is phone. bad. I was watching, you know, watching Campbell Hatton on my phone, and uh, the highlight of the England yeah, game, got, the paper. Did he win by the way? No, he did got he win beat. Got beat. Oh, okay. But it, the paper airplane coming down from the fucking stands was the highlight of the game. Everyone was cheering the airplanes. No one was asked about the game. Mexican waves and that. Apparently, there were Mexican waves and that, and it was just like, it's oh. true, man. Like, Southgate ball's depressing, man. But this is why the likes of Kobe Mano and these youngsters that come into the squad give it a bit of why, energy. Why is, you know why, I mean? why is, why is uh, Bramthwaite been took and he's not playing him? Why? May yeah. Dunk. Why, you know. why not? You're not mean. Dunk. Lewis Dunk, of all people. Now, Lewis Dunk, fair play, is all right for Brighton. Why is he playing for England? Why is Bramthwaite, the future of the England team, the future of the, the, the country, why is he not playing in two of them games? Getting himself in there with Johnny Stones, the future partnership. We're going into the pack, we're going into the Euros with Slabhead again at the back. And oh, it's like, no, I know. You know what's happening, mate? You know, you know what's happening? That Ben Chilwell, awful. Oh, man, it's bad. Awful. It's bad, mate. Yeah. You know what's oh. bad about Luke, Luke Stunk here? He actually got um, done over by. Um, by Lukaku two weeks ago. Same situation. So he's not watching football Southgate. He's not no. watching it. He's clearly not watching the players. And Dunk's not been great for Brighton last couple of weeks. Like, we've actually been watching him. But he's still thinking, yeah, you know what? I've got to play him. He's got it in his mind what he's got in his mind. And that is it. Yeah, that, and that, ben Chil Chil that Ben Chilwell, the Ben Chilwell, he, he, he couldn't even trap a ball. He was going out of play all the time. Um, and Conor Gallagher, basically... It just runs around like Robbie Savage. So, so that is that is it. Robbie Savage. Robbie Savage. Let me tell you this now. If Robbie Savage was still playing now, it, it, and, and he was fucking English, yeah, he'd be in the England midfield. He's right up Southgate Street. And that is the mm. kind of player he would pick. He'd be like Savage is the man I go to in big tournaments. A bit like Jordan Henderson. You know what I mean? How can Jordan Henderson get in the team? Yeah. But Calvin Phillips, even though Calvin's not been playing, Calvin Phillips was yeah. a player of the tournament the other year for England. Uh, yeah. Why has he not got yeah. faith in him? Why has he not got faith in Calvin and bringing him in and maybe giving him a couple of games for England? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But, mate, listen, he's just lost, man. And like I said, he's going over to Ajax, mate, and, and watching Henderson play against flipping. I don't even know. Who watches the Dutch League? The Dutch League might be the only league that people don't watch. You know what I'm saying? To you? Like they, they generally don't want Spanish league, Italian league, French league. You might want to watch that. But this Dutch league, man's went all over there to watch him play against, I don't know, man. You know what I mean? Heravine and that. Come on, man. Let's not do this, man. You know what I'm saying? So I just look at it from, from a point of view when I'm like, the English squad, it's got, it's, it's probably one of the most talented squads here. Yeah? If you're actually producing minor as well. And the, 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 the most Liverpool, talented squad, the Liverpool fans have got a point with Harvey Elliott, to be fair. He, 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 yeah, well he could be in that squad. I'd rather have Henderson out of the squad and, and Harvey Elliott in the squad. This is what yeah. his friends are for. Bring the young players in. Let's see what they're about. Let's get them involved. But, nah, it's just fucking strange. But you know man. what it is, though, Steve? You know what it is, though? The, the reason why Henderson will be in the squad is that when we lose our first game, yeah, he'll revert back to type. So he'll revert back to playing Henderson and Rice, sitting, protect us, and make sure we don't get beat. And it'll be literally... Yeah, playing against all first. these tournaments, man. Iran, fucking Senegal. I know. know. I know. We've been blowing these big boys away. Every time we've come up against anyone half decent, we've been slapped. So we've there been shitting ourselves. You know what I mean? You'd rather go out with a bit yeah. of pride, have a bit of summit. Yeah. I mean, Anthony Gordon, to be fair, at least he was on the front foot and wanted to get the ball and have a Not goal. Fair. He was good. He was you know? good. He was good. And, and he was you, good. Don't, you don't mind seeing that, but I tell you what, I, I, do you know when I was in? I was at the uh, training section for England, yeah? Yeah, you yeah, had a, yeah. You had, security, you had a security guard there, guarding the England team, old guy, and he went to me, fucking brilliant, you know, Southgate. And I went, what? And he went, brilliant, what he's done for England. I went, why, what's he done? 
And he went, yeah, he's done loads. He, he got us to a final. I went, yeah, we lost. He went, he got us to a semi-final. I went, yeah, we lost. And he went, do you not like him? I went, no, he's fucking shit. And he went, I'll tell you what, I've been security guard for England. He's the best England manager we, we, we've had. I went, yeah, he's the best England manager because he's kept you in the job, I reckon. So the guy started laughing, yeah? And I went, yeah, yeah. So you've got a job off Southgate. Now you're blowing smoke up his ass. I went, you know that Gareth Southgate is shit as a manager, mate. And he was like, no, he's the United DFA. He's brought all the young teams oh together. He's done this. God. He was a proper Gareth Southgate waistcoat wanker, this guy, yeah, who worked for England. <laughs> and I thought, do you not stand there and try and tell me Gareth Southgate is a fucking great England manager, mate, because I'm not having it. He's scared of losing his job. I bet he fucking irons Gareth's waistcoat the twat. You know what I mean? <laughs> he looks after him, man. He looks after him. You know what I mean? That's yeah, one of them, man. You can't be giving it the propaganda. You know what I mean? Who are you kidding, man? You know what I mean? We're not, we've got eyes in our head. Do you know what I'm saying? Hey, that is wild. You know, the fact that he said that, yeah, mate, it just but shows him the, the big... England setup was mint. St. George's Park, mint. They looked after us, you know, really did. And um, the, the England, England have got no excuse. That training set up there, St. George's Park, where the players stay, got their own little apartments and that. All the different age groups training that is fucking good, oh. man. It's mint, really good. Yeah, no, hundred no, percent, man. You know what I mean? They're, they're they're doing their thing, man. But the problem is, you can have all the best facilities in the world, man. And if you're doing f all with it, you know, it's a bit like Tottenham. You know what I mean, bro? They've got the best stadium in the world. They've got everything. They've got. I'd, gold rather, have Marino, I'd rather have Mourinho in charge for the Euros for a one yeah. of Euros. I'd say there's the England team. Go to the Euros. You win it, you get a mil bonus. Done. And I'm just yeah. fucking up for it. let Mourinho Talk rattle a few football. pages. Like Mourinho, yeah. imagine Mourinho running across the pitch in fucking Gelsenkirk into the England end when we're fucking giving it the bigger than that. Oh, I'd, get, I'd be right behind that me, mate. I'd be in the away and giving it the bigger for Jose. I yeah. am over there singing, South Gay, you're the one. You still turn it on. You will, you will. Come in over again. The thing is, though, Steve, you will. <laughs> we all sang it in that um, that road to uh, victory thing, man. You know yeah, what I'm that road to victory, man. That road to victory sucks you in, man, because you go in there and the tunes start and you're just like, fuck him, you're on it, aren't you? You're on it, you're man. On you're, you're on, on it, man. It, that's man. what I'm saying, bro. You're on it, man. So that's why you're like, shit, man, we need them. We need the uh, we need we need something, man. Like I said, this squad is too talented, man. You know what I mean? But I reckon we'll probably reach about semi-finals again. Semi-finals, quarters again. You know what I mean? That's I what can't see it, but I can't see it. Yeah. I see it. I'm, I'm going, mate. I'm going to the Euro. I'm going, I'm going. I'm going to one or two or three of the games. I'm going to end up staying there. I know what's happening. Yeah, yeah. Once you get there and you get the old patriotic fucking vibe, you ain't coming home, man. You know yeah, I mean? you ain't coming home, man. You know what I'm saying? What do they think? Is it uh, not going home? Don't want to go to work. Want yeah. to stay here. Drink you know what I mean? So... I ain't going yeah, to that exactly. Serbia game, though. Can't get smacked up off a load of mad Serbians with balaclavas on, yeah? So I'm swerving Bro. that. I'm swerving that. Yeah, because you lot, you lot, you lot were dissing them. Was it was it Huey that was dissing the Serbians on the uh, on C? Oh, I killed them, mate. They were sending me coffins, pictures of coffins with my name on and that. So uh yeah, but I was just winding them up. I was calling them all Neanderthals and that prehistoric and that. Go and watch Green Street and all that. They were going mad, man. They did. They Mate, went, it was... we, played, we played the Dynamo, uh, whatever they call. Is it Dynamo? What whoever? We, no, what they yeah. call? Uh... Red Star Belgrade. We played Red Star, Red Belgrade. Star Belgrade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were going to Saudi Arabia the few days after, uh, right before Christmas. Yeah. So nobody's going to uh, Red Star because it's fucking mm. with fruit and it's it's just wild. So. Yeah, the city fans that went were all in a bar, and 70 odd blokes in balaclavas attacked the bar, smacked a couple of young kids up, and nicked a load of flags. And then started DMing me as if it was some sort of World War One victory or something. I was like, You've took a couple of flags off a bar and battered some kid outside who's on his vape, and now you want to be telling us that you like you some army and that. So, people that are thinking like that, mate, fuck that shit. I'd rather go and uh, who else are we playing? Denmark. I'd rather go and chill looking Man. at them birds in Denmark than Denmark birds and that. I'd, be, I'd rather go and watch that. Hey, listen, Scandinav Scandinavian girl, listen, they're, they're, they're the one, man. I'm telling you, man. I've heard, man. I've heard. You know, I'm trying to say so. It is what it is, man. But yeah, man. What's big this up, big up What's the point regarding Southgate? What's the point, mate? Send it in. What's the point? Yeah, exactly. Send it in, man. You know what I'm saying to you? So it is what it is, man. Um, well, I don't know. I did where, where have you put it, mate? Where have you put it? I don't know. I can't see it, mate. 
so yeah, put your question in again. But like I said, with England, it's just one of them, and we're just gonna have to just wait and see. I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. Okay, this one here. Big Steve, respect your view, but what about a bad word before South Africa? We talked about the tournament team missing one, which was get out of the group. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Listen, what I'm trying to say is he's had his chance. We've had a bit of a run with him. We've all had a sing song, we've had a dance, and uh, we didn't quite make it. He hasn't won anything. He's had the best opportunity to win anything for England at home against Italy. We got beat off Roberto Mancini's Italy squad. They were all aging. We got uh, beat. We the semi-finals uh, in the in the World Cup again that against France and all that. We got beat. So for me, it's uh, thank you, Gareth. Please go and take the Man United job because we need somebody else. No, nah, man. If honestly, I said it, man. If you get Southgate, might, mate, just... if you get Southgate and Gary O'Neill as the dream team that I read on the back of the paper this morning, I can't believe that, mate. I'm going to be buzzing. The whole football world needs to pray. Manifest that happens. Southgate and Gary O'Neill, the dream team. Yeah, you'll end up with Connor Listen. Cody at centre back and Calvin Phillips in midfield. <laughs> Honestly, I'm going to rebrand this channel to maybe a cooking channel. I might even do like a fishing channel. I might even put this as a discovery channel. This won't be called Saeed TV anymore. While yeah, South is the manager, mate. You need to retire, man. You need to retire for that. Yeah, I'll retire. I'll retire, mate. I'll be done. Football. Listen, if you want to watch me, watch me fishing down, uh, down the lakes and that. You know what I'm saying? That'll be me, mate. Because if that's what we're doing, listen, Ineos, bye-bye, mate. You know what I mean? You're crazy. You know what I mean? To think that we're going to go and do something with Gary O'Neill. No, the the riverbank tales with the Somalian fishermen. The riverbank tales with the Somalian fishermen. I can see it now. I can see it. You need to buy <laughs> that. <laughs> riverbank tales with the Somalian fishermen. <laughs> Listen, man, you know what I'm saying? We can do our thing, man. You know what I'm saying? We're talented. You know what I'm saying? So we can collect that fish all day long. You know what I was there? So I just said there, I say, you big Steve fishing in Manchester Canal. That'd be mint. Yeah, we'll do that. Bro, we need to do that. We summer, do that. Summer, we're doing the summer. Go somewhere out the way, set a camera up, sit there, yeah. fishing, and just talk bollocks. And I reckon people would love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do it. We'll do it, man. We'll do it. Like I said, I've not fished before. I think, Steve, have you fished before? You know how to yeah, catch one, I, yeah? I, I actually go fishing. What quite do you a do? Bit. You just get the rod and then you just like lift it up and that. Is that basically it, isn't it? Yeah, if yourself, man. You just don't get the rod and lift it up, man. These fish are clever, man. You've got to get the line, yeah? And a little float yeah. on it and a bit of line and a hook. You put your bait on it. You've got to suss it all out. Cast, them, yeah. cast it out, yeah? Throw a load of bait around it and that and just, you know, watch your float. And if the float goes wallop, then you, yeah. you hook it and you've got to play the fish because it's going to try and get away. Get your net, keep yeah. and then out. check it out, pitch off, throw it back. Don't be eating the fish out of canals, man. I know what you're like. Don't be eating them canal <laughs> fish, man. That's full of fish. oil and that. I'm full of oil and 18 that. cans. I was <laughs> 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 saying, man, it's like, it must be fucking, you know what it is? It must be a thrill, though. To get like a fish in it, like that's what these guys do in it. Like, just literally, when they catch it, it must be a buzz, man. Yeah, it must be a buzz. Well, to I, catch fish them, for, so. people, no, I fish for pike, right? And pike have got teeth and that they're like a predator fish. So, when you get one yeah. of them, if you book one of them, it's a bit like wild. But I'm going to take you fishing, I'm going to educate you on it. Nah, definitely, man. We'll do it, man. We'll do it. It'll be hilarious, man. It'll be hilarious, man. It'll actually be hilarious. But listen, people. Make sure you not like the video. There's over 700 of you in the building. I want to discuss um, the Tonali situation, man. I don't know if you've seen it, Steve, yeah, but it's a mad one, mate. It's just, um, it's got even, not worse, but apparently, Tonali has now been charged by the FA with 50 offences of placing bets earlier this season. It happened between 12th of August and October the 12th. Tonali was already banned for 12, 10 months for betting offences whilst in Italy. So apparently, he's been, he's been done again, man. He's been done again. I think the FA came out with Summit today as well. But, mate, he's got some I mean, serious... He's, yeah, he's got a problem there. He's got a gambling addiction. Um, mm. He's obviously going to get the best help because he's a footballer and they get that sporting chance clinic and all that. But he's let himself down. He's let Newcastle down. They've invested a load of money in him. They've, yeah. they've, they've ended up going backwards this season. I think they've pinned a lot of hopes on him in the midfield. Yeah. And he's, uh, he's let him down, man. So, uh, hopefully he can get clean. Hopefully he can come back and prove... He owes he yeah. owes the city of Newcastle a lot. So he's got to come back next year and smash that Premier League for them Geordies. Because them Geordies, they'll probably forgive him and love him in that. But 
you, you can't do that to them, man. It's wrong, man. You know what I mean? All their money got went into him and then he did that and then it's fucked him. You know what I mean? Mate, it's mad, you know, man. You need some serious help, man. Apparently, it's to do with... He, it was banned for 10 months, obviously, but Betty Jad, it is now being charged again. So it's mad, bro. Earlier this season, this is earlier this season, between the 12th of August and 12th of October. So this is this is mad, you know, when you're deep. Bro, like, so he's, he's on it all the time. Mate, he's on it all the time, you know. When you look at it, yeah, like it's people don't for me don't realize, yeah, they have money in it. Like it's not about the money, it's the addiction, people. Some people don't realize, like. A lot yeah. of people, when they're doing this thing, they're not thinking about what they're losing, what they kind of gain. It's just a thrill of like just, you know, repeatedly doing these bets and whatnot. You know what I'm trying to say? Because he's got money. You know what I mean? They're, they're making ridiculous amount of money as footballers. But it's that addiction of just, you know what I mean? It's the thrill to join, man. I watched um, an interview. Did you watch that interview with um, Matthew Everett? In? Matthew yeah, Everett. Seen, was, he had a lot of, he was in that? serious trouble. Serious trouble he was in, man. So, and he was on some, he was on decent wages and that, but he lost everything all. And then when he had the money and he was doing well, he did that that same money he had. He gambled it again. You know what I'm trying to say? So, the young lads with a lot of money, man. we forget he's a young guy with a lot of money, but they, they need to get help for it. It's, it's a bad, bad thing. Paul Merson, look at Paul Merson, the money he's he yeah. lost. You look at Merson's documentaries and things and look at him now and he's trying his best, but. You know, it's tough. I mean, footballers are lucky because there's a lot of people out there in normal day-to-day -day life that are gambling addicts and they don't get the help, whereas the footballers get, get rushed in and get helped out. But he needs to sort himself out, man. Yeah. It's it's crazy, man. It's just sort itself out and just, you know what I mean, just get your help that you need, man, because Newcastle are waiting on that investment. <laughs> you know what I mean? Newcastle are waiting on that investment, mate. That's what they're doing, man. So it's mad. It's mad. We've got some breaking news, apparently. Apparently... Kyle Walker and John Stones missed training today ahead of Sunday's game live on Sky. Edison, De Bruyne, Akanji, Jack Grealish and Matthias Nunes all took part in training. So it's Kyle Walker, Stones that have only missed training. Um, so yeah, Akanji, that means Akanji will play right back and then Grealish will come back into the team. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Would you have taken that? You know what I mean? Considering everything that went... Yeah, when, when, when... Can you go right back? Uh, Aki and Diaz at centre-back and uh, uh, Guardiola at left-back. Yeah. Yeah, 100%, 100%. Because that's, cause that's what won you the title last season, didn't it? When you actually deep it. That that end towards the end of the season, it was Kanji, Stones, Diaz and Aki at the back. That's yeah. what basically won you the league. You know what Ake, I mean? So... Yeah. Kanji's been playing so well recently. It's like... Really, yeah. really well, man. He's been playing really well. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man. Big up to big up to him, man. Um, let's look at the uh, the Premier League fixtures on the weekend, man. Let's let's go through them all and that. Um, keep liking the video. There's 298 likes, 724 people watching. So please, people, let's get up to 400 likes if we can. That'll be super amazing, people. Um, Newcastle versus West Ham. What we say for that one, Newcastle. They, listen, they've had a bad season when you deep it, you know. Like it's not been a what great. What did I say season, on the big know? six? What did they say on the big six when that Jordy was on? Yeah, you ain't getting in Europe. You ain't getting in the Europe. You're gonna have a bad season. You're sack Eddie Howe at the end of the season. Don't get emotionally attached to Eddie Howe. I said, you can see it coming a mile off, man. You see it coming a mile off. I think they'll, uh, they'll, they'll they might just beat West Ham there. It might be two one. Yeah, hundred percent, man. I, listen, it depends because Paqueta's back as well, man. I, I think that's a fifty-fifty game, you know. I can see a draw, you know. I can see a let draw. Me, let me Maybe tell you as well, yeah. Let me tell you, Paqueta was the best player on the park for, Brazil, for England, Brazil, even yes. night. Yes, you still, you still, you still, um, you still think he'll come to Man City in the summer? Do you reckon? I hope so. I hope so. It, um, I know it was close because it, it, that betting thing killed it. But did you see when we played West Ham and, and, and Paqueta came out? He went to the dugout and and, and uh, give a pet a hug and that before the game. It was did a bit mad, like yeah. So I'm thinking, yeah, why not do it? Do you know what I mean? Do it. I was hoping Calvin might have settled in at West Ham really well, and they were raving about him, and we could get some sort of deal. But I, I can't yeah. see them pulling the trigger on him. I think the only way Calvin's gonna, I think Cal, if Leeds get promoted, I think Calvin needs to just go back there. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends. He needs to have a good run of form, though, man, for him to get anywhere near this team, man. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, Newcastle early kickoff as well. That should be a good game, actually. You know, that's one to watch out for straight away into the into the game. So yeah, I'm gonna go for a. I don't know. I'm going for two two in this one. What are you going for? I'm going two one Newcastle. Two one Newcastle. Chelsea, man. I don't know if you've seen Todd Bowley the news today, man. Apparently he's leaving. I don't know if it was a it was a surprise to everyone, but Todd Bowley will be leaving Chelsea. Um, so he's off. Clearly, it will take over the majority in 2027. Apparently, it's meant to be happening. But that club's a mess, man. You know what I'm saying? To Chelsea, they I think they're what 11th in the league. Got to beat Burnley. Sure. If they can't beat Burnley at home, man, I swear down. Chelsea fans, you might just lock off the whole season, mate. Lock off the whole season and just, yeah, man. See you later. Crazy. Yeah, I, think Chelsea, Chelsea, I think Chelsea will win that 2 0. You know what's mad as well? Did you see the Lavia injury as well? That is sad, man. Lavia out for the season. What a, like when you look at that signing there, what they had to do yeah, to get that signing, man. And he's been out injured for the whole season. It's cost them mad, uh, you know. It's cost them 1.8 million for every minute he's played. 1.8 million for every minute. Wow, wow, that's mad. That's crazy, man. Listen, man, it's no joke, man. Them, them sort of injuries, man. Listen, hopefully, he recovers in that, but that's crazy, man. Your whole career, like, just at the start, just messed up, man. So, listen, recovery. So he's still young, what, 19 years old? I doubt he makes the Euros, but yeah, 19 years old. Too early, man. It's too early, man. But listen, hopefully, he gets a recovery there. Sheffield United, man. I mean, you know what I mean? It, I mean, they're, they're getting relegated, isn't it? It's one of them, like, they've got no hope. Yeah. But Fulham, 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 will Fulham, will beat, Fulham will beat them. Yeah, Fulham will beat them. Yeah, Fulham, Fulham did well, man, against Tottenham, man. Fulham did well. Muniz doing well as well over there. Paulinho. Yeah, man, Fulham will do well there. Forest, Crystal Palace. Forest got point deduction, man. Yeah, Forest they got a point they deduction. Need they need to win this, man. I don't know where they are in the league now. I think they've gone down to the bottom three, aren't they? They're in the bottom three right now. Let me just check the table now. Yeah, they're in the bottom three. 21 points. You know, they're four points behind um, Everton. They're one point behind Luton. And Luton, they've got goals in them at least. With Luton and Forest, they don't have no goals in them, man. That's think, the issue. Yeah, I, think, uh, I think Everton and me could struggle, mate. Just you reckon? Yeah, I just think they, got, they could struggle, man. I think they're looking at Sheffield United and Burnley or some shit, but I look at Everton and I think, fuck, you know, man, you know, again, you just, just look at the team, Everton's team. Bramthwaite's a diamond, isn't it? It's the only one that out of yeah. that anyone would have. And nobody, nobody wants anyone from Everton, do they? No, nah, no, nah, not really. No, just just Bramford, you know what I mean, and whatnot. So, yeah, 100%. Uh, listen, I listen, think Nottingham Forest will win that game. I'm going to go for them to win it 2 1. I think they, they, they need to win it. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a must win game for them. So, let's see what happens over there. Um, Bournemouth against Everton again. We just talked about Everton just then. Bournemouth having a bit of a sticky end to the season. You know what I mean? They've not really done much, to be honest, but they're still, what, 13th in the league? Yeah, I mean, they're still. Anyone, who's, saying, anyone who's saying Onana in the fucking chat, yeah, needs to have yeah. give that bubble because that Onana is fucking piss poor. Let me tell you. Yeah. I was yeah. at Everton's here in the director's lounge and even their own directors were fucking, more or less fucking crying about him. That on Arno. Yeah. He is terrible, man. Terrible. He's an athlete, yeah, but he's just too... It's too, it's too he's uh, an athlete, but you can't put him in a... He can't put him in the top six team or a team where he's got to be disciplined and play football. He's just a destroyer. Yeah. He just runs around flying about and that, but fucking hell. When you're going down, Everton needs some bit of magic. He's just not got it on him. He's terrible. Yeah, yeah. So I tell you, he's been playing well this season. James Garner, man. James Garner's been playing well this season. Big up to him, man. He's been he's been boss. So yeah, I mean, hopefully he can get them in there. But yeah, Everton. I, I think this will be a draw. I'm gonna go for this one to be one one. One one yeah, this one. Same, same. Um Tottenham, man. Tottenham needs to bounce back after that result uh, on the weekend. Tottenham. Um, they should beat Luton, man. It won't be an easy game, though. I'll tell you that, no. man. Luton will be fighting for their lives, man. So Tottenham have got to take this seriously, man. If they can't be bottling this top five or Champions League football, they've had one game a week for the whole season, and they're telling me they're going to be bottling this. It's mad to Tottenham bottle this. 
It's crazy. They need Champions League football, man. That stadium, you know what I mean? I know they got concerts and all that, yeah, but that stadium needs to pay. You know what I mean? And they can't be doing that with one game a week next season or Europa League. But I expect Tottenham to win that one. I'm going to go for 3-1. Tottenham to win 3-1. Yeah, I'm going to say the same. 3-1 Spurs. Yeah, 3-1 Spurs. Let's check the other games as well in there. Um... Who else is there? Aston Villa versus Wolves. Unai Emery. Unai Emery. I think Villa will you know, win that. I think Villa yeah, will win Villa that. Win. Yeah, that's going to be a good game, you know. I might watch that one as well, you know. That'll be a good game. Um, Unai Emery needs to get the win. Um, they need to cement their top top four, top whatever. If they get Champions League football, man, he should be in the record for manager of the year, you know. If he, wins the, if he gets Champions League football, and he gets and he wins the conference league. Honestly, he should be in the, in the runners for the for the for the manager of the year. From where they were uh, when he left Steven Gerrard to where they are now, what a turnaround it's been, man! What an absolute turnaround! So, credit to him, mate. Credit to him, man. So big up to him as always. Yeah, but I'm gonna go with two nil, two nil Villa, two nil Villa. Um, then it's the Man United game, man. Brentford flashbacks to last season. We got beat four nil. You know what I mean? That day, you know, you know, you know, you know, Steve, yeah. A lot of people say the 7 0 was one of the low days, but that also was a very low day for United. You know? When we got beat 4 0 that day, I was just tearing me fucking, oh my days, man. Seriously, man. That was a very, very low day for Ten Hag, man. Like, genuinely, man. You get me? It was crazy, man. Bread for the hit and miss, for all, man. Bread for the hit and miss. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you never know, man. Tony, you might want to show what he's about. I still think United should have enough, man. I'm going to go with United to win 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one United. You know what I'm saying? 2-1 United. I'm going to say 2-0 United. 2-0 United, yeah. Uh, Bradford 3-0. Man's taking a piss here, man. Oh, you lot are funny. You lot are funny. Um, then we have... Who else is the next one after that? Liverpool versus Brighton. Brighton, I just yo listen that Brighton. I bet they fold for for Liverpool. I swear down. I bet they get beat four 0 Watch this. They're getting beat four 0 Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Get beat four 0 mate. Yeah, I'm saying Brighton just don't know what they what they are, man. They got they'll probably focus on the Europa League. That'll probably be their kind of main aim, Europa League. You know what I'm saying to you. So. It's going to be an interesting one, man. Like I said, the Premier League is getting it's getting tight. It's crunch end to the season. You know what I mean? The tight the, the table as it shows there, 64 points, 64 points, 63. Man City win the top of the league. Obviously, if Liverpool win, obviously they're still top of the league. So they'll go top of the league. But it's all to play for, man. Goal difference there is a lot, man. It's a lot. 46 goal difference is a big one. So, Man City got to keep winning games, man. So, it's going to be nervous, man. But, Steve, this is what you do, man. This is what you lot do. You know, this trust is what you lot pep, do. Man. Trust Pep. Trust the Pep. Trust the team. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Um, big up to everyone who's who's watched the show, man. Make sure you lot like the video, people, man. That would be amazing if you could like the video. Let's get it up to how many likes are we currently on, people? Let me know in the chat. Um, but yeah, let's get them up if we can to 400 likes. That'll be amazing, Steve. You're gonna be there with all the Arsenal fans, man. You're gonna have to be ready, man. They're all gonna be coming for you. If you win, yeah, you gotta give it to them, man. When you win that game, yo, you yeah. gotta give it to them, man. The shark, they might be an appearance from the shark. Yeah, there you go. Get get them. Have you got them inflatable sharks at home? Have you got one of them? I've got nine, no, got one at home, man, but. We'll see. There might be something else, man. I might, I might think of something quite quite creative. So I'll think of something to rattle them with. Yeah, but yeah. We'll see, man. They might be coming for me with a shark. They might be coming for me. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There you go, man. So it is what it is, people. Uh, oh, they're out of Europe. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, they are because Roma beat them, innit? Yeah, there you go, man. There you go. But listen, people, make sure you not like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, follow up Big Steve. He, have you got a preview coming out? Um I've not done it yet. I, I was going to do it. I'm so busy doing everyone else's preview. I've not done anything on my own channel. So I'm trying to get one in there uh, tomorrow, but it's bank holiday, isn't it? So I don't yeah. know. I've done one with Premzer, which you can watch on Premzer yeah, TV. Yeah, that'll be coming after this. Yeah, uh, it's going to redirect you guys there. I did AFTV yesterday. I did Curtis Shaw before. Um, so, yeah, man, there's plenty of – you can see me about at the minute. There was Sky Sports News this morning. 
Um, okay. So, yeah, good. There you go, people. There you go, man. So make sure you lot check it out, people, man, and uh, get involved in the in the chat, man. But this has been the Bank Talk, people. Love, we're out. We'll see you next week, people. Take care. Bye-bye.